from Annie Hiruni and with Hobium. Today I'm bringing you a stitch tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do a basket weave. So what we're going to do is go ahead and place a slip knot onto your hook. Today I'm using Yarn Art Jane Plus, which is a really great yarn that you can find at hobiumyarns.com with a four millimeter hook, which is recommended for this yarn. Now all we need to do for the basket weave is chain a multiple of eight. So I'm going to show you um, 16. So let's go ahead and do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and each chain across. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work into the back bumps. So go ahead and find the fourth back bump from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to double crochet into that and each back bump all the way across. So go ahead and do your double crochet. If you need a refresher for double crochet, all it is is yarning over like so inserting your hook into the desired stitch, yarning over and drawing up a loop. And then you have three on, on your hook. Yarning over and going through two loops, you have two left over. Yarning over and going through two. So go ahead and do that in each back bump ac across the chain. Now we are working on row one. Going to chain two and turn. And then this counts as a half double crochet, the chain two. We're going to skip the first stitch and back post in each back post double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So back post crochet is just a back post double crochet. It's just the same as double crochet except we're going through the back post. So we're going to yarn over like this and insert our hook in between this chain space here because this is the post that we want to use right here. It's the the bar that's underneath the, ch the stitch. So yarn over and go around that bar like this so that the post is in the back. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That's our first back post double crochet. We're going to do the next one. So you can see the bar is right here, the post right here. So we're going to do a double crochet, like just like that, back post double crochet. Yarn over, yep. Now we need to do a total of four. So go ahead, yarn over, insert your hook from back to front, and then just like that, and now you can see that the double crochets are now in the back. We are going to do one more. So you yarn over, go around the post like this, just like that. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now what we're going to do is front post, front post double crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, so we're going to do that by yarning over and going in front of our work and go and grabbing that post just like that by inserting our hook from left to right just like that so this is a front post double crochet yarn over and do it again so we're into the front of our work going in here just like that we've done two you can see the difference. The back posts are behind, front posts are in front. Yarn over, 
front post, double crochet, yarn over, one more front post. So what we're going to do, insert your hook behind your post here, just like that, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two. Now we're going to repeat that sequence ending with our back post double crochets. Okay, so we're going to end with our back post double crochets. So the last set should end with an extra back post four. So no problem, just like that. So I have three there. Back post is just going from behind instead of going in the front. And then we will end with a half double crochet at the top of the turning chain. So go ahead and just go into that turning chain like so. And we're just going to do a half double crochet. In case you don't know how to do it, you just yarn over, insert into the top of the chain two that you did earlier, draw up a loop, you have three on your hook. Yarn over and go through two. All three, sorry, <laughs> not two. So now we've done row, row one. We just need to turn. Now for row two, we are going to chain two. This counts as a half double crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to front post double crochet in each of the four. So we insert our hook like so. So we go behind the post just like that, yarn over and draw up and go ahead and do a double crochet. Front post, second one here. So we're going right like that. I hope this is helpful. Sometimes it's a bit hard to explain, but I think you got it. So go ahead and double crochet in four front posts, just like that. And guess what we're going to do next? We're going to do four back post double crochet. So go ahead and do that. And remember, instead of inserting it like this, we're going to go behind our work and insert so that we grab it from behind and then double crochet that. So back post, go behind and through. And you can see that the basket weave is uh, working, is starting to show. These little squares are just gorgeous. We're gonna end with our, so you repeat that however many times that you have for the eight, the multiples of eight, and then you will always end with four front posts, double crochets. And then we will half double crochet into our turning chain at the top of the turning chain. So go ahead and do that and turn. Now for rounds three and four, you will just follow the pattern that's listed here. Row three, you will do as row two. Row four, you will do the same as row one. And you just keep repeating this pattern over and over again in the same four row pattern with any multiples of eight in your foundation chain. And then you'll see something really great like this you will see a basket weave. So I'll insert a, a video or a picture here so that you can see what it looks like when you do many multiples of eight. So all you need to do is repeat rows one to four of the pattern and that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you in the next one.